My name is Aria Erickson, and I am 14 years old. I'm going into ninth grade at Phillips Academy in Dover. This is a self-portrait. I, I drew it one day when I was on a Zoom call, actually. This is Nessie, and this is Freddie. Freddie can sometimes be a bit jealous of Nessie, <laughs> because Nessie gets to stay up. When I was in seventh grade, my language arts teacher gave us a project to write about something in, in a narrative nonfiction form, something that we were passionate about. A single fish, the pain plastic inflicts on Puget Sound. The sun hovers above the horizon, glowing softly yet giving little warmth. A bag drifts across the surface, absorbing any light left. The logo of a supermarket chain, rubbed away by salt and sand, stares glumly down at the ocean floor. Fifty feet below, the sand is the ashen color of a stormy afternoon. A flash of movement in the grasses, a note to break the silence, a fish peering out all alone, reminiscent of a glass shard, pale and oblong. I chose plastics because I feel like the more that I researched the topic, the more that I found how plastics were really one of the biggest factors in the harm of marine animals, and I very much do love animals. I've all, I always have. I very much love sea bunnies, and I really like the orcas. They're so majestic. I chose the fish as a protagonist mainly because he's small. He's something that we all can really relate to, I believe. Uh, I've definitely been blessed with being able to live here in the Pacific Northwest and be able to look at the sound every day of my life. And it has been just such a wonderful experience to have the, all the major and minor events of my life play out against this backdrop. I, I, one of my favorite memories is when I was down at Lincoln Park as a little kid and my dad would pick me up on his shoulders and he'd carry me and I'd hold on to his hat so that the wind wouldn't whip it off his head. <laughs> I've always felt very connected to the natural world and I feel like I have, as a part of it, I have a duty to protect it. It has felt daunting at times, but what I've found as I've researched and considered ways that I can help, that there are lots of little things that pretty much anyone can do to make an impact, even to influence decisions on a much bigger stage. Like, you can. Most people don't really know that if you go on the internet, you can usually find contacts for your representatives, and you can contact them just like you would email a friend, and you can ask them to put in place stronger legislation to protect our oceans, protect our, protect our world.